I suppose the inspiration behind Blue Mountain School came about through the thinking to get varying different sort of creative um, fields to kind of coexist in one environment, but in a way in which had sort of integrity behind it and collaboration. So a lot of these sort of sort of different entities and sort of varying different individuals are friends and sort of previous collaborators of ours, and we wanted to create an environment where they could all coexist and have a natural dialogue with each other under under one roof. Blue Mountain School is comprised of a listening space located on the roof of the building, um, an exhibition space located on the third floor and second floor. On the first floor we have a dining experience in collaboration with Nuno Mendes around a communal table um, called Mausch. And then located on the, the ground floor and the lower ground floor is the Hostem Archive. Well, Moses has been a project in the making for many years, but uh, it's a collaboration between James and, and ourselves, the team, the team here. The interaction that we have with the guests, that sort of the, the dialogue that we create, giving the guests an ownership of the space, as well as the gastronomic experience, and in a setting that is almost like a dinner party, I think it's something quite, um, quite unique. Every night, like it's, it's kind of nice because our guests spend a lot of time in our kitchen. The guests are free to walk around the space. So yeah, we wanted to create something much, much more open. As a chef, this is probably, like, this is the dream. It's the dream to cook like this. Um, and I think hosting and being, and being very interactive with the guests only makes it more exciting. I, I think every single aid of the, the building has been thought through. Every, everyone's participating, what they offer is quite unique. And I feel like we hopefully try to offer that same uniqueness in, in dining. And actually a project we just started doing that me and Nuno have been talking about for long time. a very, very long time yeah. was that we wanted the farmers to start growing root vegetables for us uh, and then send them to us with the roots attached but also in, uh, with the soil that they've been grown in and we just carry on the growth and what that does is that it, it allows us not to store the vegetables inside the fridge. Once you do that it starts to deteriorate and we make sure everything is as fresh as possible. We're trying to capture the moments that you can't in a bigger restaurant. Yeah. When I started thinking about Perfume at Age, I didn't want to create just another brand. I had this bottle at home and I, I thought, gosh, it's so special. I looked underneath and I contacted the guy who made it. We, we just got on really well and he said, okay, I've never done anything for a perfumer, let's do something. And then two years later, we had this beautiful brand. Christy and James, it's been beautiful forming a relationship with them. I mean, that's the whole sort of concept behind Perfume Age is, is working with like-minded people always. And this was just the perfect marriage. 6A for me personally, and I think for us, are probably the most relevant and dynamic young architectural practice. And with 6A, this was very much about collaboration and sort of working it out as we went along. So over the two year period of the build, we didn't work to a set sort of group of plans. We didn't have any set restrictions. It was very much week by week, month by month, seeing spaces sort of unveil themselves, working in sort of close proximity with them, sort of really collaborating in, in, in that sense. And I think they very much enabled us to get the, the best out of the building. You know, everything that's sort of comprised in this building is, is kind of through just dialogue, I suppose, natural desire to do something, you know, interesting and somehow all these different people who also share that same philosophy have, have, have come about and sort of come on board and to be part of it.